their next game after beating the Lakers. The Warriors are playing the 76ers. It's because the 76ers are playing the Lakers in the NBA Finals. The Warriors were the losers of last year's NBA Finals, and that only means that the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be the losers of the the following NBA Finals. This next one coming up in 2020, and what we have here is the Philadelphia 76ers winning their 31st game of the season against the team with Stephen Curry because it's Curry that has Demacia of 31. So the 76ers are, are going to go ahead and take that game. And not only that, they would be 22-2 and two over at home, a lot like 2022 in a way. It's pretty fitting that the 3 P in the year 22 – the 76ers 22nd win connects to the failed three-peat quest by the Golden State Warriors, which I correctly predicted to happen uh, last year. So the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be winning the game. And uh, I, saw, I saw that that game was, was postponed. And uh, the Celtics in the Heat is the other one. I did not realize that they were playing the Miami Heat. And so what we have is the Miami Heat at number two, playing for win number 22 against the East. And I like how it's Boston that equals 22. So already looking really great. I, I think the 33rd win against the Boston Celtics would make Miami an NBA Finals contender. And uh, for the Miami Heat, for the Miami Heat, it would be their 22nd win at home, not only their 22nd win in the conference. And, and meanwhile, for the Boston Celtics, that is loss number 16. It's Heat that has to match you 16. So I'm really liking Miami to win tomorrow. It, it just uh, it seems like everything is favoring the Miami Heat. And uh, Jimmy Butler or whatnot, uh, I don't know, you know, a, a conference semifinals between the 76ers and the Miami Heat is being orchestrated. I get the feeling that that is what's happening right now. And um, Toronto Raptors, let's see where when number 33 may occur against. I mean, they are playing Cleveland. It is Cleveland that is to match 33. So Toronto Raptors are looking uh, really great right now. And... I, I, I'd want to say Atlanta's going to beat them because Atlanta equals 15. And so I thought I would go with the Atlanta Hawks to win tomorrow, believe it or not, and over the Toronto Raptors. I believe that is the case. And let me just see where the Hawks are at in the East. I mean, well, what is it that equals 36? I mean, Toronto equals 36. So I, I, I don't want to say that's a... Uh, guaranteed now just you, you probably have to go with Toronto to win that one just because of the 37 with uh, the 76ers and um, although on the Atlanta side they can win their 13th game they can win it right on against Dallas so one of those games one of those games they can win it it very well may end up being this home game on January the 30th. Um, I'm not making a pick on that one. That one is just so uh, double-coded. I have to go use some uh, real numerology to determine who's going to win that one. But um, 76ers win, and then you got to go with the, um, the Miami Heat over the Boston Celtics. And so... Uh, what we have here, what we have here is a brilliant setup here for Philadelphia with the games coming up against the Bucks and the Boston Celtics and especially right after the, and the Miami Heat as well and uh, Joel Embiid coming back is only going to help help out with this. Uh, Kobe Bryant's death and whatnot, Philadelphia, I expect them to start to turn it up.